One of the most common ways to attack in most games is shooting projectiles. However, one way to make this much more interesting is being able to charge your projectiles. This is often referred to as a charge shot. This is a good way to give your game that little extra oomph by making your player feel more powerful. Hi everyone, Shallow Glitch here. In today's video I'll be showing you how to get your player character to fire a charge shot using Unity and C Sharp. By the end of this video, your player character will have the ability to fire small projectiles, which they can then charge up for a more powerful attack. Let's start by making a bullet which can fly across the screen. In the hierarchy, right click to create a new game object and give it a name like bullet. Add a new sprite renderer component to the bullet and pick something like a square. You'll most likely need to resize the bullet to a size which looks right for you. Then add a new rigid body 2D component to the bullet and set the gravity to zero. Now we need to get our bullet to actually fly across the screen. Right click in the assets folder to create a new script and call it projectile. The reason we are calling this script projectile instead of just bullet is because you can reuse this script for other projectiles, such as missiles, fireballs, all sorts. Let's open the script and create three new variables. A serialized private float variable called speed, a serialized field private rigid body 2D variable called RB, and a serialized field private float variable called lifetime. In the start function, type rb.velocity equals transform.write times speed. This will be the line of code which will get our projectile to move. Next, we want our bullet to eventually destroy itself, otherwise we could end up with thousands of them in the scene, which will lead to performance issues. To do this, let's remove the update function and instead make a new function called void destroy projectile. In this new function, all we need to type is destroy brackets game object. Then back in our start function, type invoke destroy projectile comma lifetime. This will start a timer which will decrease our lifetime variable. Then once lifetime reaches zero, it will call our destroy projectile function destroying our bullet. Save the script and head back into Unity. Once back in Unity, make sure that the projectile script is attached to the bullet game object in the scene. Make sure to give your variable some kind of value, hit play, and our bullet should now fly across the screen. Great. Next, we want to give our player the ability to actually fire our bullet. Let's first drag our bullet game object into our assets folder so it will create a bullet prefab. Prefabs are handy reusable game objects that we can spawn into the scene from our assets folder. I highly recommend creating a folder to store your prefabs in, as the number of prefabs you'll use can build up over time. We can now safely delete our bullet game object that's currently in our scene since we have it stored as a prefab. Next, create a new game object and give it a name like Firepoint. Make the Firepoint game object a child of the player character so it will move with the player. Then position the Firepoint somewhere you think the bullet should be fired from. Next, let's make a new script and call it something like gun. Open up the script and make two new variables. A serialized field private game object called projectile and a serialized field private transform called firepoint. Then in our update function, make an if statement with the condition of input.getKeyDown keycode.f. In this if statement, type instantiate projectile firepoint.position, firepoint.rotation. This will spawn our bullets at the exact position of our firepoint game object each time the F key is pressed. Save the script and head back into Unity. Drag the gun script onto the firepoint game object. Make sure that both our variables have been assigned the firepoint game object and our bullet prefab. Hit play and our player should now be firing bullets each time the F key is pressed. However, you're probably getting this issue where no matter which direction the player is facing, the bullet will always travel right. To fix this, we'll need to head back into our player script and change how our flip function works. Instead of using transform.localScale to change our player's direction, type transform.rotate0f180f0f. Save the script. Then once back in Unity, hit play, and our bullet should now travel in the direction we are facing. Brilliant. 
Finally, let's give our player the ability to charge when we hold down the F key and then fire a charge shot when they release it. Let's start by creating a new game object and call it Charged Bullet. Give this charged bullet a sprite render component and pick something like a square. Recolor the charged bullet, preferably a different colour from your normal bullet to help distinguish the two. Add a rigid body 2D component to it and set the gravity scale to zero. Make sure to drag our projectile script onto our charged bullet and assign the speed, RB and lifetime variables. Resize the charged bullet to a size which looks right for you. Don't forget to drag the charge bullet game object into the prefabs folder to create a new prefab. Then head into our gun script and create four new variables. A serialized field private game object called charged bullet. A serialized private float called charge speed which equals two. A serialized private float called charge time. And a private ball called is charging. In the update function, make an if statement with the conditions of input.getKey, keycode.f, and charge time is less than 2. In this if statement, we want to set our is charging to true. Then make a second if statement with the condition of is charging is equal to true. In this second if statement, type charge time plus equals time.delta time multiplied by charge speed. This will increase our charge time depending on how fast we set our charge speed. Next, make a new function called release charge. In this new function, type instantiate charge bullet firepoint.position firepoint.rotation is charging equals false and charge time equals zero. This will fire our charged bullet and reset our variables. Back in our update function, make an else statement with the conditions of input.getKeyUp, keycode.f, and charge time is greater than or equal to 2. In this new statement, let's call our release charge function. Save the script and head back into Unity. On the gun script of the Firepoint game object, make sure to give your new variables some values and hit play. You should now be able to charge your projectiles by holding the F key and fire a charge shot when you release it. However, you may notice that you are charging your charge shot quicker than intended. This is because our charge time variable does not reset if we let go of the F key too early. To fix this, head back into the gun script. And in our input.getKeyDown keycode.f if statement, set charge time equal to zero. Now our charge time variable should reset so we don't get any early charge shots. Congratulations, you should now have a player character which can not only shoot bullets, but also charge up and fire a charge shot. Keep in mind you can expand on this by adding sound and visual effects to make your game really pop. If you want to see more of my content be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.